All right, my friends, we're now here for intercession. I have the prayer list. It's a very, very small prayer list um, because of uh, just getting out of the habit, I suppose. Um, Got to keep texting me, texting the church. Let us know when we need prayer. And uh, so Harold got to me, and I did get your phone call, and I did make a phone call back to you, Harold. And right now, you're in my prayers, and uh, we will remember you. Uh, Harold is experiencing a um, a big situation right now. We pray for him and his his family as he's going through this. Love you, Harold, man. Stay strong, okay? And uh, uh, never disconnect from him. And uh, be strong in the Lord and do what is right always, okay? So um, also... Um, his grandma lost two friends and is in the midst of terrible foot pain. So we'll remember his grandma as well. And also prayer is needed for his friend Rudy, which is going into surgery today. Uh, needs very strong prayers, very strong prayers. So we pray for Rudy as well, but especially you, Harold. Stay strong, man, okay? And I hope you're able to get this message, but um, you're loved very much by this community, whether we, whether they know you or not. I know you, but whether they know you or not, you are loved, okay? Um, also, Giselle, want to thank God that you could eat. Um, eat again. I was, you were, uh, go, after going through your treatments, you were there at Potluck. It was great to see you, and I know that Marcos and Kaylin were away, out of town, but we remember them in our prayers, but um, I'm so glad you don't have that taste of the metal taste in your mouth because of the treatments. And um, I'm so glad you've gotten through this. Continue to strengthen yourself. And uh, you are loved so much by your family and all of us around. And we're so happy that Brian also is, uh, is able to eat now too. So um, after his uh, stroke, Brian is something else. And uh, I got to be able to meet with him again. But uh, we pray for all of you. And, uh, and Marcos and Kaylin, we love you guys, okay? Um, also, Yvonne has a very special prayer for Anigo, rushed into that ICU. Yes. Did I miss this on Sabbath? I think I might have. Yvonne, I'm so sorry, but Anigo, we want to pray for Amigo, uh, Anigo, who is, um, Anigo, who is in the ICU with brain tumors, this little boy. Uh, we want to pray for the family and for Anigo. And, um, and also for you, Yvonne, for strength and healing for you. This is a very bad situation for Inigo and, uh, and for his family. But I mentioned in the video earlier that we boast. We boast not on what we can do or on our survival. We boast on Jesus. And you know, it's okay to boast when it's worth boasting about. We can boast in Jesus all day long. This world doesn't want us to talk about Jesus. This world wants us to respect them by not saying anything, which is not respect at all. It's being silent. It's being silent so that they might continue to live in darkness. But light is very aggressive. All it has to do is shine. But if we don't shine, then darkness reigns. People will say you're violent if you shine. Nope, not at all. A candle is not violent, but it is direct and more powerful than darkness. Yvonne, we pray for an ego and this boy and his family. But even if he passes, we will see him because hope exists. But of course, we pray that he is healed and soon. Okay? Also, Teresa. I want to pray for Teresa's eyes. She's going through a treatment or a, a test. And uh, for her eyes, Teresa, I was so glad to see you there on Sabbath. And we also pray for Anne Marie and, of course, Connie. But Anne Marie is going through a, a procedure. We want to remember you, Anne Marie. We love you so much. And uh, it's not fun to go through those procedures, but stay strong, girl. I know you're going to have some swelling, but uh, just stay strong. 
And uh, we want to see you at church. Look forward to seeing you at church and Connie again, too, as well as Teresa continually at church. I'm so glad for your, your light and strength in this world. Also, Cosette we, we wants us to remember John. Yes, John, we love you, man, very much. Also, Rada and Angel, Angel, uh, both uh, battling cancer, Rada and Lebanon, Angel over in here in the States. And um, we pray for 100% healing. We pray for that. I know it's not easy to say, but, but even so, even if God does not do that, there is a future. There is a future. There is a future. We also pray for Andy and Esther for strength, and especially you, Esther, as you continue to recover. Stay strong, okay? We love you. And um, uh, I got to come by and visit, but it will have to be about two weeks from now. And I look forward to seeing you, okay? So be strong, girl, okay? And Andy, you too. I know it's hard sometimes, but... With love and strength, there is power, okay? So uh, look forward to seeing you too soon. Uh, also, uh, we want to remember uh, the family of the Aguirre family who lost Maria. And we want to remember um, the family of Bella. And Diane wants us to remember Maureen. Maureen when her treatments. And I do want to meet you, Maureen, at some point here when you are available or able. I um, want to pray for our church. Um, not just our church, as in Living Stones or Sunland Tahanga, though that's important, Living Stones and especially the facility at Sunland Tahanga. But we pray for strength and power. I was so happy to see this last Sabbath. I didn't think there were that many people out there, but when I saw the count, wow, praise the Lord. And um, sometimes I, I get in, in the mode and I don't really notice things, but Man, God is growing us. Even when I was gone, we had a good count here, and I'm so happy. Um, Want to have that steady growth happening rather than just up and down, up and down on attendance. We can be steady and grow one click at a time. But I am asking for those who are young people, if you're young parents and you have children or you know someone with children, you need to come to Sabbath school. You need to bring the children because we can have incredible programs on this campus if we just have you and them and us working together for this. So I look forward to this. I know God has great things. In this next year, I think God will blast out some things on this church and uh, begin to allow us enough leadership strength here to then be able to replant Sunland Tahunga and create two strength zones for God to use in this community. So now when we pray, let's pray together. I'm right now at eight minutes, so uh, I'm going to be pretty short, and I'll end with the Lord's Prayer. Are you ready? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, Lord, there are so many things that we bring to you today. We pray for our country. We pray for our church. We pray for our conference, and sometimes we are surprised and dismayed at things we see and hear but lord we ask that you lead we know that you are leading we ask you to to do what is best in our congregations and to make us grow for you not just financially but physically and and educationally strength wise we ask for you, Lord, to just be present. And Lord, there are many here with prayer requests that have not been mentioned. And we will have a moment of silence. Please give your quiet request to Jesus now. Yes. You hear the requests. You understand, you know, you love, and you care. Thank you, Jesus, for being the caring, loving God. Lord, we ask that you strengthen each one of us. Allow us to be the best kind of people through the situations we're dealing with, whether it's good or negative. Lord, we especially ask for Harold, blessing on Harold right now. Lord, hold him in the palms of your hands. Lord, be with our churches that we grow. Thank you. Thank you for being present. Clear out all the bad stuff that sometimes we do so that we might have an overflow of good that comes from you. Thank you, Jesus.
Now, Lord, we'll end with a prayer you taught us to pray. Let's say our Father together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those indebted to us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever, ever, and ever. Amen. Have a good evening. May the joy that flows from the cross of Calvary infect and infest your life, give you hope, peace, and a purpose. And I'll see you this Sabbath for communion, Passover communion. God bless. Bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, as we're ending here, just want to remind you, come to church on Sabbath, Living Stones. If you wish to give, feel free. It's the description box below, you can give to Sunland Danga or Living Stones. Become a part. Like, subscribe. Don't forget, you are important. We need you, and without you, Nada happens. Enjoy.